Good morning. I am Theodore Roosevelt. When I took office, we had six children, ranging in age from three to seventeen. Our youngest, Quinton, I called Quintiqui or Quinnikins, while his friends just called him Q. His behavior caused his mother to call him a fine, bad little boy. Quinton began attending the Force Public School in 1903. The children in the class watched him, looking for any sign of being snobbish or stuck up. They soon learned that Quentin had the same qualities that I had. Enthusiasm, swift anger, quick forgiveness, explosive speech, frankness, aggressive leadership, and imagination. Quentin's hair was always must his tie coming untied, his clothes torn, his stockings refused to stay up. He was irrepressible mentally and physically. There was no holding him down or back. He was active, alert, eager, bubbling over with ideas, strange words, humor, and deeply seated sentiment. Quentin soon developed a strong friendship with a group that became known as the White House Gang. The White House gang consisted of Charles Taft, Taffy, the son of William Howard Taft, my Secretary of War, Bromley Seeley, who had an infectious laugh which was usually the best announcement for blocks away that the gang was approaching. There was Dick Chew, nicknamed Sailor, because his name suggested that he should be chewing tobacco, which he tried once, out of bravado, and then he repented bitterly of it with tears. There was Edward Stead, who the boys called Bedstead, or Slats. He loved to find and carry keys on a large ring with the hope that they may one day unlock a great treasure. There was Walker White, the smallest of the gang, who was the grandson of General Horatio G. Gibson. And there was Earl Looker, who later wrote a chronicle of the White House gang. There were others off and on over the years, but this was the main group. Ah, and I forgot one member one of the most active members of the gang. Me! <laughs> in the beginning of the gang, the boys admitting have strange sensations in the pits of their stomach as the President of the United States would join them in their antics. It took the boys some minutes to really feel at ease with me.